everyone, it's me, Rx Canadensis, and today I have probably the smallest box I'll ever get from Japan right here. Basically what happened is these came the day after I needed to ship my last box from Japan, so they didn't get to be in that one, and then I didn't really order anything else, so I had to ship them by the time the storage time was up. So, <laughs> I just got these two. The shipping was actually reasonable, I was very worried, because normally... When you're ordering from overseas, it's better to order a ton of stuff in a big box because you get cheaper shipping. But this was only 30 bucks to ship with FedEx and it took two days. So pretty happy with that. Uh, but it just depends on a lot of things. Like this weighs almost nothing, <laughs> but I'm so excited. These are two of my holiest holy grail dolls. I am a big, big fan. My first, like, one of my first anime that I ever watched and, like, considered myself an anime fan, I was, like, 13 or 14, was Polo Magica Madoka Magica. And I love it. I actually have a whole shelf of them right there. Uh, and I've always wanted those A-Zone dolls, so I got one of the Pure Nemos. I do have the uh, um, Hybrid Active figure, which I think is by A-Zone. Sorry if I'm wrong. Um, but I got one of the Pure Nemo dolls. One was... 50 something and one was like 45 I couldn't believe how cheap I got them so and the other one is from Love Life Sunshine which is another one of my favorite shows of all time and oh I'm so excited okay so it looks like the first one is the Kimi no Kokoro Daya doll and I got such good deals on these I'm so because the reason I haven't gotten them yet is because especially the aqua I want so, ideally, like a holy grail of mine. Usually, a doll isn't my holy grail, unless it's like the last one I need for a set. But one of my like collecting goals, like holy grails of being a collector, would be to have all of these Polymagi Madoka Magica ones and all of the Love Live ones. There's 18 so far, and they're making more. I'm pretty sure they're making more. Uh, so, it's gonna be quite challenging because these dolls, especially the Aqua ones, go for like $200 each sometimes. So I was so happy that I got this Daya one for such a good price. I've been trying to get the Muse ones. The Muse ones are a little bit easier to get for good deals, so I'm not as like uh, eager to get them. Oh my goodness, okay. Wow. Except Nozomi, of course. I've never seen Nozomi go for a good price. She's my favorite. So we have this little card and it has some instructions. We have all the extra hands. I only have, or um, we have two Pure Nemo dolls so far. I have Kuriki Hime from Axel World, which is one of my favorite characters, and then Brett has Yui from Kaon, who I bought for him for Valentine's Day, I think, one year? Oh my gosh. So, this is a used doll, but she's basically brand new. She's perfect. Oh my gosh, and her little legs. <gasps> wow. Okay, so she feels different than my other one. She feels a lot heavier and sturdier, but this is a much newer one than Kuriki Hime. Oh my gosh. These blow me away with the outfits. Like, I'm shocked they picked Kimi no Kokoro to be the outfits for these because they're really, really intricate. Oh my gosh. They even did, like, the corset. So cool. I know these dolls retail for, like, $100, so there's going to be a difference in, like, quality on these, but wow. Oh, interesting. The... Oh, it's just these ones. Okay, I was going to say, like, she doesn't have, like, wrist flopping, but there are articulated hands. That is so interesting that... I wonder why. These are like swivel only. And then there's some that have the articulation. Maybe it's so these would look a little bit nicer in pictures and be easier to edit. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, but here's Miss Daya. So pretty. I'm worried that I'm not gonna be able to get any more of the aqua ones because they're so hard to get. Um, oh, sorry, I'm making her do like a weird pose. Um, the aqua ones are really, really expensive. This is one of the only times I've ever seen one go for like a good price and I got her and I'm so excited. But even if she ends up being my only one, I'm just ecstatic to have her. And she's one of the third years and the third years are my favorites. Look at her little shoes and the dress is incredible and fully detailed on the back as well. And her hair is super, super soft. I think it's Saran, but I don't really know. So cute. Um, and don't worry, I'm gonna be showing you these like up close. <laughs> I know most of you probably have no idea what any of this is, but that's okay. You can just appreciate that it's a pretty doll. Um, but for those of you who actually want to see like a detailed review of the doll, at, after I'm done unboxing these and giving my first impressions, I will flip the camera around and show them to you in like beautiful lighting with like perfect camera, so don't worry. Okay, next is the other one that I got. So this one doesn't come in her box, but I'm pretty sure she's complete. If she's not complete, it's fine with me. Um, Cause in the picture she was complete enough. 
and again I paid like 45 or 55 I don't remember one was 55 and one was 45 and I got them both on the same day and I just couldn't believe the deal I got so this one is the school uniform Sayaka doll oh my god she's so cute Oh gosh. Okay, so Sayaka's actually Brett's favorite from Call of Magic Medical Magica. She's definitely not my favorite, but I still think she's super cute and I want to have the full set, so it's good to get one to start with. Oh, she's so pretty. My favorite thing about the Azo dolls is that they go out of their way to make sure that the dolls actually look like the art style from the show that they're from. So you see like it's not just an anime doll that's wearing Sayaka's outfit. It's fully a Sayaka doll, and I think that's so cool. Look how beautiful she looks. And it's really impressive, too, because A-Zone does so many different shows, and they consistently hit it out of the park. Oh my god, I love the big bows so much. And look, they even have the details on the back with the little bow. And the skirt's so nice. And, oh, my goodness. And then she has her little hair clips, which I'm not going to mess with. That's one of the things with Azone that I was surprised by because our first Pure Nemo doll was the Yui Hirasawa movie one. And to do her barrettes, they're literally like a paper craft with stickers. Thought that was a little strange for a $100 doll, but it's fine. If I really want... These actually look like they might... I'm back. I can't read Japanese. I'll figure this out later. Uh, it looks like you're supposed to make a barrette out of wire and then attach this to it somehow, but it's aluminum, I'm pretty sure. It's aluminum or tin or something some kind of metal so that's actually really nice i was worried that they were just stickers again so these are actually really nice but i'm not too picky like i don't need her to have them and if i do then she does come with this so i can do it uh, and now i'm very excited to flip the camera around and show you these dolls up close because they are absolutely beautiful oh and sayaka didn't come with any extra stuff like she didn't come with her hands and stuff if she came with them originally but that's all of my dolls have come with extra hands. Like, if I really want her to have extra hands, I'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'll be right both back. of them are up close where you can see them much nicer. I'm gonna be doing like a quick review of both of them. And I wanted to show you, Daya does come with the stickers for her little barrettes that she usually has. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna use these. I'd rather her just not have the barrettes at that point because this is so ridiculous. Um, I guess it kind of makes sense if she's just gonna sit on your shelf, but the point of a doll is that it's like a mobile thing, so stickers are just weird to me. And this is a newer one, so I'm shocked they're still doing it. Um, I don't know. That's like my one criticism that I have. Otherwise, these dolls are really cool. Oh, another thing is that the articulation is kind of weird, like, that's a strange way to articulate an elbow. It works. I just think it's a little bit weird, right? Like, look at that very strange anyway we're going to be looking at sayaka first because we looked at daya first last time so this is sayaka again like i was saying earlier i absolutely love that they do the anime art style for the face i think it's so beautiful and the haircuts are always really well done too and she has super nice realistic um like the texture of the hair is very realistic if you guys are doll people it reminds me a lot of the like techna from the mattel Wing dolls how they did her hair which i think is saran um but saran just is so realistic in the way that it can lay i really really like this but i'm not sure i'm not a super big doll hair expert um but it's really impressive to me that they managed to make the short hair very realistically lay and they did the the layers and everything it looks fantastic um she is wearing an undershirt here so this yellow shirt Sorry, I'm playing with the bow. This yellow shirt actually comes off and is a completely separate piece than that white undershirt, but the white undershirt doesn't have sleeves. Although I don't think you see it in the show, so you never know if it does or doesn't have sleeves, but the reason it doesn't have sleeves, I'm assuming, is actually just because it would be extremely bulky. Oh, sorry. She doesn't want to stand on the stand well at all. Like, for so something about this stand to have her on is making her want to bend her knees. Sorry about that. Um, if this undershirt was a full-on undershirt, I think it would make the sleeves very bulky, so they opted to not do that. Totally makes sense. Um, the big bow is so cute. You kind of have to position it very carefully because it like it mine has a tendency to do this Which I could just add another stitch in to make it work a lot better. I love the intricacy here like they did the Bigger piece here that's in the show and all the different decorative stitches and the really nice intricate trims that they have everywhere like on the cuffs of the sleeves and they even did the trim up here. It's so nice and then the pockets too. They're not real pockets, but they're sewn on to look like pockets, which is so nice. I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be pockets in there. Um, and then the bottom of the shirt also has the really intricate, beautiful trim. So nice. And then the skirt is just a simple pleated skirt. Doesn't have a waistband. It does have a waistband. And the undershirt is tucked into it. Super, oh, sorry. I 
was not even on camera for that. Um, here's the, the undershirts tucked in. It has a waistband. So, so pretty. I really like it. And again, just like it is in the show. Um, her hands also don't have that swivel or that um, hinge joint, but I can just give her one of Kuriki Hime or Daya's hands. Although, I was surprised they actually have a remarkably different skin tone. Sayaka has, like, actually my skin tone almost. Um, and Daya has a much, like, lighter skin tone. I was not expecting that. I thought they would have the same one, so that's pretty cool. Um, I really appreciate when a doll company goes the extra mile and they're going out of their way to give them, like, really accurate skin tones to what they look like in the show. Because normally companies will just call it a day if it's close enough. And then moving on down. But these are, like, $100 collector dolls. Um... Moving on down. So these are her little loafers. So cute. And her blue socks. Very nice. And the socks have not even attempted to fall down once. They're staying up very, very well, which I'm very happy about because you guys know a lot of a lot of long doll socks do not play nice. And then here is Daya, and she is so cute. I think Daya or Daya, oh my gosh, I just said Dayaka. I combined their name. <laughs> I think Daya is my favorite here, but um, it's mostly because her outfit is so much cooler. If this was the Magical Girl Sayaka, I think things would be different, but this is my Daya. She's absolutely beautiful. I really, really love this flower. It's actually, like, a plastic flower, and it looks so good, and the paint, the paintwork on it is so impressive. I'm so used to, like, American fashion dolls and even American collector dolls, and they never have details like this, so it's so refreshing to have dolls like this. She's absolutely stunningly beautiful, and... There's her little face. I really love, look at the subtle blushing. And the Love Live Sunshine art style specifically is one of my favorites. I think it's so beautiful and they've captured it so well in doll form here. She looks so good. And turning around to see her beautiful long black hair. So cool. I always kind of thought her hair was a dark brown, but it's looking awful black here. And I assume that Azone has, would know better than me. So I don't know, for some reason in the show, I just think it's dark brown. Um, and then she has her Kimino Kokoro outfit on. It looks like this is a separate piece. So there's a top and a skirt and the skirt is attached to this little, uh, I forgot what these are called. Like it's like a waist corset thing. I don't know. Um, but the, f the corset stitching that they did with ribbon, it's not just stitching, it's ribbon and stitching and all the tiny little details like the little buttons and this little anchor. It's just, they went above and beyond, and they picked such an intricate outfit, and they did it so much justice. And then there's the back, and you can see the way they did the collar. So, so nice. And look at, like, even these, even the tiny little bubble details on the skirt. And I love these little sleeves, too. They're actually sewn on. They're not just individual sleeves, so they're not going to fall off. And her hands, again, are very weird, but she does come with actual articulated hands, so whatever. But it's like a little bracelet from the outfit and then if we move down you can see her tiny little shoes and you can see the foot articulation which actually is pretty impressive that she has that oh and these are separate from the shoes they're little straps so cute i'm completely in love with these dolls i'm so excited to add them to my collection they're definitely a lot nicer than my kuriki hime one my biggest problem with the other my first pure nemo doll was I just felt like, I guess it's, oops, sorry, I guess it's because her outfit is a little bit too intricate and weird, but they did, they did her outfit in such a strange way, and it was very high quality and well done, but it doesn't fit on her well, and then her wings don't stay, it's kind of a mess, but these are simple enough, I think, that they work so well, and I love that even on a simpler outfit like Sayaka, the attention to detail is so there, because they really could have gotten away with not doing every single one of these little trims, or getting, like, cutting a corner and not doing the little pockets but they wanted to give you like the most accurate nice doll for the price and I think they did such a good job these dolls are fantastic again my only criticism with these is that I think the the barrettes are kind of confusing Sayaka's are metal so I have nothing to complain about there but why are your stickers Daya it's so weird <laughs> it's so weird it I don't know um and then there's some instructions I guess because maybe she doesn't come in the out I guess it's telling you like this is how you take the outfit off which is so nice I don't know these dolls are fantastic these dolls are kind of aimed at an audience of people who aren't normally into dolls I feel and to me that's interesting because they are so elite compared to other dolls but maybe that's because they're trying to make sure that people who aren't into dolls like them I don't really know 100% who they're slated at, but I feel like they're mostly for, like, the same type of people who collect figures. For me, they are so good as dolls, and somebody who has uh, so, so many dolls, these are, like, peak 
in this scale and I love it so much and I'm so excited to add them to my collection. I hope I can get more but even if I can't I'm very very happy to have these and now we're gonna put them on the shelf so let me show you where I'm gonna the put them. Monica display is looking like. So Sayaka's over here. She's kind of behind the bar but in the Monica display if you're looking from like this perspective it looks great. Um, and yeah I gave her the Q posh figures Q bag because I felt like it's a better size than the Nendoroid one which is the other one that I have. Um, yeah. Looking good over here. I think it would probably be better to put Sayaka back there because a lot of this height of this shelf is not being used, but it's okay. Yes. Love it. Love it. <laughs> She's so funny. She's too tall and I don't, I don't have any other dolls of that height, so I wanted to sit her down, but like, <laughs> this fluffy chair I bought. Oh my gosh. And then her wings don't actually attach to her back. Like, for some reason, Azone didn't think of that. So they're just sitting there. Um, and then my Pula Pomera should probably be standing there. I just have her sitting for now. Um, but yeah, that's the Madoka display. I have three Madoka dolls now. We are moving up in the world. Um, and then there's the rest. So there's my Hikuri Yukihime, and that's just the Takara Elsa, but I think she looks so good there. All right, now we're going to do Daya's new place. We're gonna find a new spot. trash down here. I'm so sorry, but this is my Love Live display case. So initially I was gonna have two display cases, one for Muse and one for Aqua. I can't find another one of these for sale. Like, Ikea still sells them, but I only live- I live four hours away from one Ikea, and when I go there, like, they never have it, so... Ugh. One day I'll get more display cases, maybe when I move I'll be able to get some, and then I'll be able to do this justice, but this is my only Aqua shelf for now, because I have two mixed Muse shelves, and then one for Nozomi and Ellie, and then this is my Mari shelf, because, again, I was filling in spots when I was like, oh, I'm never going to be able to get another one of these displays, and I wanted Aqua on. So Aqua's actually my favorite group. Like, don't don't let this fool you. Um, but yeah, here's Daya on the mixed shelf. I do like her here. Uh, I would just rather have this entire shelf popped upward, but it's totally fine for now. And she looks great here, because this shelf is mostly for things that, like, don't go with anything else. So um, perfect for her, because I don't have any others of her. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!